Okay, my hair looks like a mess, but let's jump into the video. So guys, I'm here to talk about products that I really like and love and I'm excited about, but they need more of my attention, they need more of my love, and for some reason I just don't use them enough. And I don't know why, maybe because I always reach for something. I don't know why I don't reach for this. The first product I'm going to talk about is a product that I loved. I loved so much that I, uh, I hit pan and I broke it. It's this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Now you think, why do I need to use it? Because it's used up? No. I love it so much I went and bought a new one that I used maybe two, three times and it's in my drawer, I don't use it anymore. I'm going to throw this one away. But I need to use it more. I love this one so much, but I don't know, I just stopped using it. And it kind of makes me sad because I know how much I loved it, but every time I'm going to reach for it, I take out something else. That's kind of sad because it's a very good powder. But I don't know, I just thought that I'm going to use it during the summer because I get very oily during the summer, my T-zone just didn't. I need to show this powder more love and when I uh, finish this one up, I don't think I'm going to repurchase it because I do have a lot of powders to use. Maybe that's why I don't get this one, but I just sit in my drawer getting old and I really, really want to use it. Need to use it more. Okay, other product that I kind of bought not so long ago is this Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for light skin. I had the dark one in my giveaways. I just love this bronzer. It's very light though, very, maybe too light for my skin, but it's very easy to build up. I don't know if you can see I'm building it up right now. This is perfect bronzer for my skin tone, also for lighter skin tones. It smells like coconut a little bit. Smells nice. I really love this bronzer. It blends up beautifully. It blends flawlessly. It's easy to build up, but I'm not don't reach for it right now enough. I think I need to show it more love. I should reach for it more because it's blend it blends be beautifully. It's very cheap. It's beautiful bronzer. It's perfect shade, not too yellow, not not too uh, orangey. It's not too dark. It's not too pigmented. But pigmented it's very easy to build up it blends beautifully I can't say enough of this bronzer but it just gives you gives you that natural sun-kissed look especially if you have a little bit lighter complexion than I have perfect matte bronzer I just need to love it more I need to love it more okay, another product that I liked used once in a video really loved tried once again and stopped using it. It's this Nip and Fab contour palette. I had it in one of my giveaways too. This is a beautiful contour shade, beautiful bronzer, contour shades, beautiful highlighters in here. I mean everything about this palette it's very nice as a highlighting shade, not highlighter, highlighter. But I just don't reach for it because I have my benefit palettes that I use but this is more affordable, this is beautiful, it blends flawless, it blends like butter. It's amazing palette, I just don't reach for it. I don't know why, it should be like in front of me so I can reach for it. I just don't, it's sad because this palette is beautiful, it needs more love, I need to love it more. Let me know down below if you try this one out. I did have it in one of my giveaways last year I think. And I hope the pro person that got this one loves it more than I do because it's a beautiful product. I need to buy more in my giveaways. This is a beautiful, beautiful product. Blends so, 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 so nice. So nice. I just don't reach for it. I don't know why. Look how pigmented and so easy to blend. Very nice palette. I need to have it here in front of me so I can get it and I'm going to use this product now. I'm going to talk about them in this video and I'm going to use them because they need to get more love. I did pay for them. I need to at least use something. Okay, so the next product I need to use 
at all. I didn't use it, I just swatched it and I want to do a review. This is Jade Cat Compact Foundation. I have two shades and I want to use it, I want to try it, I want to review it. It's been sitting here whole summer. I don't know why I didn't use it. I heard so many good things about it. I was so excited when it launched in Sweden. So I can, and I bought it immediately, two shades to try out. It's just sitting here. I need to use this more. I love powder foundations, uh, especially the Revolution that I use right now. It's beautiful. I don't have it on my skin today, but I do love that foundation. It's very easy to build up. It takes like two minutes and my foundation is done. It's perfect. And I need to try these because I heard so many good things about them. So I have them in front of me. I'm going to review them. I'm going to try them tomorrow in a video. Hopefully they are going to work out. So stay for my channel to see a review of that foundation. A palette that I got from my sister that I really want to use. I haven't used it since I, since I got it from her. Yes, I did use it once. I won't lie. This is the VCR Bridal Satin palette that I really wanted. She had it and she wasn't using it. And I wanted, wanted it. I love this palette all shades of shimmery beautiful for uh, bridal makeup pigmented easy to work with i mean viseart is an amazing brand that has a, some beautiful shades and their formula is amazing i don't just i don't use it and i think it's because it's everything is shimmer i usually like palettes that have the mattes and shimmery shades that i can just take out and use the one that i have on my eyes is my lovely palette that I use like every day. I thought that I'm going to reach for another palette today and I had this palette in mind and another palette that I'm going to show you soon. And I was like, yes, I'm going to use it because I'm going to talk about it in today's video. I'm going to use it because I said I'm going to use it again. Then I start watching a video from a YouTuber and uh, when I look at myself in the mirror, really looked and realized that I reached for this one again. It was too late. It was too beautiful. I didn't want to remove it. So <laughs> I need to put this one away and give a lot. Ah, I got some lipstick on my teeth. But I do need to remove it and just not remove it, but just kind of let it sit for a while and give other palettes more love. But you know, I don't want to cheat. <laughs> Okay, a blush palette that I really like, and I have an old review of this. This is the Makeup Obsession. Uh, palette or single um, blushes, some amazing blushes, amazing blushes, and also you can use these as a bronzers. Ugh, it's in my allergy are crazy. Really like this palette. The formula is amazing. They blend beautifully. I just don't reach for them enough. I did reach for them in the beginning, and I do sometimes, especially these two shades here. Uh, but I think I need to love it a little bit more. So I'm going to have it here so I can try them out. Two highlighter palettes that I loved and used a lot, 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 but stop using is these two from BH Cosmetics. I was so excited when they came out, when I bought them. These I did use in a very colorful makeup looks on my eyes as a highlighter for my Instagram. These are not everyday highlighters, but it's good to have a palette like this so you can play with and use when you use colorful makeup looks. I don't know. Just good to have a palette like that. Very buildable, very in-your-face highlighters. And I really like this one. This is for everyday use. This is Spotlight Highlighter palette. And it's, it's very powdery though, but a very, very buildable, very easy, beautiful uh, highlighters. They're amazing. I just don't reach for it anymore because I do have other highlighters. And I did love this palette. I mean, this palette got so much love from me, but I think I can give it more love. It is, des deserves more love than it gets. So definitely going to use them more. Uh, it's cruelty-free, BH Cosmetics. And I think it's a beautiful palette. It's worth trying out, but I have so many palettes, so many highlighters, and I just bought a new one that I'm going to review on my channel soon. So, this one needs more love. Okay, two last products are two eyeshadow palettes that I I was so excited when they launched. I bought them immediately. 
One of them I used twice and I'm so sad. But I think I used it for the, I think I stopped using it for the same reason that I stopped using the VZR palette or didn't use the VZR palette. It's because all shades are shimmery. This is the OPY or OPV Gorgeous 2. Oh my god, some I love orange eyeshadows, if you didn't know. Uh, and this palette speaks to me. It's so beautiful, so pigmented, so many colors to choose from. Um, some of them are almost the same, so this palette could be without these. These are very similar, like you see, um, not so similar on the eyes, but I mean, if you have two shades that are very similar, you don't need both of them. Uh, I mean, it's not a big difference between some of the shades. So I think they could kind of skip maybe this one, this one, because this one is here. These two are very similar. These two are very similar. This one too. I mean, there are so many similar shades, these two also, that if they took out those and put some mattes in them, this would be my everyday, make, everyday palette. But unfortunately, it's not because I don't... I don't like using mm, too many palettes at once, especially if I'm going to put makeup on to go out. This is a unique shade. This one is unique. There are some unique shades in here that I love, and that's why I have this palette. And I'm, I'm not going to get rid of it because it's a beautiful palette, but I need to love it more. Amazing formula. Okay, guys, a last palette I uh, used once, maybe twice last year, and I did use it a couple of months ago just because I felt so bad. I paid a uh, hundred dollars for it. It's a beautiful palette. I love the formula of this. Of this brand the eyeshadows are pigmented easy to build up easy to blend beautiful payoff I just don't reach for it I don't know why and this is the Violet Voss Pro palette the ride or die palette and it's actually ride or die you don't need any palette than this one you can have this one palette and make create every makeup look you can dream about really beautiful pigmented big nice mirror in here Everything you want is in this palette. You don't need anything else. I mean, you have that natural shades, your yellow. I don't like silverly, si silver, silver eyeshadows because I don't think they look nice on me. I tried a silver makeup look and it <laughs> looked bad. Uh, but all of these other shades, you have your uh, darker, uh, cold, warm eyeshadows, some colorful, okay, no blues and greens but everyday makeup look you can create so many smoky beautiful sunset makeup look with this palette this one is unique shade this one is so gorgeous and if you can see it i just don't reach for it i don't know it's because there are too many shades to choose from maybe because i mean so pigmented so look at this shade i mean i just don't know why i don't reach for it I take it out and I just look at it and I get inspired but for some reason I just put it down again and I don't use it. So many beautiful, beautiful shades. I love Violet Voss eyeshadow, palette, the eyeshadow formula. If you haven't tried it, I recommend it. I have almost, no, I think three or four different eyeshadow palettes. Laura Lee collab and some other from Violet Voss that I really like. But I don't reach for this one. <laughs> I need to. But guys, let me know down below what product do you think need more love from you? Is there any product you love but for some reason don't use? I have many products. I have many bronzers, foundations. I, I love trying out new products. I try products every month and I do love that but I do feel sometimes that I need to give more love to some products that I know, know or so beautiful and the products I don't really feel passionate about I need to get rid of I have problems giving get, uh, getting rid of uh, palettes because I'm a palette collector so I love having palettes and I think I'm going to keep all of them until they start stink or 
get very nasty and very bad. But I don't want to get rid of any eyeshadow palettes ever. <laughs> I know I need to because my collection is getting bigger and the space is getting less space, more things. <laughs> Not enough time. <laughs> Guys, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. I've always forget to tell that in the beginning. Nobody's watching my videos till the end. Hopefully someone. But if you do, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Love you all. And I hope I see you in my next video. Bye.